fighting the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, everyone, to It's a square, Squared Circle with the Sports Swami, only on TheBoxingVoice.com. And now, join me once again on the line, this man here. Well, he was voted one of the top boxing prospects by ESPN.com, by even Ring Magazine. He's all over the place. A lot of people say he is the future of the uh, boxing division. Well, last time out, as he said, he uh, he let his he let the two, the, the two brothers come out and play as he destroyed Alexis Camacho. I give you once again the hammer himself. I give you Erickson Lubin. Uh, Erickson, I'll say this: uh, you know how to make a statement. You basically took Alexa Camacho and just beat him down like a government mule. Uh, I'll say, that. what were you surprised it was that easy that you were to just walk through this guy like a hot, you know, a hot knife goes through butter? Um, What were you expecting? I know that you said that you know you were expecting a hard fight. What were you expecting from him? And when did you realize that he just didn't have anything? That he was there for the taking? Well, I mean, I was expecting a guy that you know take a punch and you know also give a punch. But um, you know, I saw, I seen him make that mistake. He was a little bit too slow for me, so um, I called him at the right time and I put him out. That right hook, you know, Jack. I'll give you credit for this. You know how to play the game because you came out there wearing the Dallas Cowboys jersey. You had, of course, uh, as you said, your, your, your two guys, Sledge and uh, Jack. And how much of this is just you know is natural that you come up with this, and how much of it is you actually put thought and I went, okay, I need to you know put a show on. I need to, just to stand out. I need to put a show on for these fans. Right. Well, I mean, I was on a car with um, two Texas natives, you know, a headline in the car, and I was the co-teacher. And, you know, I had to, you know, make a statement. I felt like, you know, we were all prospects. Some are, like, prospect, prospects turning into contenders. So I felt like, you know, me going out there with the Cowboys jersey, being in Dallas, you know, would make, uh, you know, give me a little fan base and let people, you know, take notice on me. Let's go to your next fight. It's going to be, uh, well, you're getting a... A bit of a push. You're going to be uh, headlining the PBC on Bounce TV January 31st at Seminole Casino in uh, Mokele, Florida. You're taking on the ever tough uh, Jose de Jesus uh, Macias. Let's face it, he's a tough little hombre. He's a guy who, he's only lost to guys who are pretty good. His last fight, a lot of people thought he won, which was against, at the time, a ranked contender in Alejandro Barrera. Uh, what do you see out of him? What does he bring to a table that's different from anybody you face so far? Um, I feel like he's gonna bring more of a uh, more of a chin, more of heart. You know, he's also he's also Mexican, so you know they all come to fight. They they all come ready to fight. And, um, you know, I'm gonna stick to my game plan, and do everything right, and then try to dominate the fight. What's the biggest challenge for you now? Because it's getting to the point where you're just beating people. Regularly, it's not even looking easy. It's not even looking hard. It's looking easy, like a computer game. But you know the risks. At any time, you can get caught. So how do you keep humble without just going and looking at a guy like Masias and going, "Yep, yeah, I got this. I'm, I'm just going to throw some wild haymakers. They're going to play the crowd. You know, throw some big shots." How do you keep you know focused when everything so far is just so easy? I mean, I don't, I don't overlook anybody. You know, because this is a sport of boxing, and everybody to. You know, anybody who's been caught and, you know, put down. But, you know, I make sure I remain humble. I, I'm always in the gym, staying focused, um, you know, learning new things every day. And, you know, come January 31st, I'm going to make sure I, you know, do my best. And I know doing my best is um, going out there and dominating the fight. How big is it for you that this is a fight going to be now in your hometown, that you're the headliner? It's no longer you're going to be fighting on Texas or somebody else's card. You're getting to that point where the PBC goes, all right, we're taking training wheels off. You're going to sell this card. You're going to be the guy that we're showcasing. You're in the main event. Man, it feels good. It feels great, you know, to be in my home state of Florida, you know, inviting everybody out and not just being on the card, but being the main event, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm like the main face of, you know, the whole card. It's, it's an honor. And I want to keep moving up from here, you know. I want bigger cards. I want bigger. 
Challenge is always this, and you know it probably well than a lot of people. It's when you're fighting in your hometown, all of a sudden, there's the after parties, there's the pre parties, there's the interviews, you know, the banquets. Because everybody wants you to sell this card, and you're the guy who the fans are going to come to. They're not going to come for Dennis Calaraza, they're not there for Alex de Jesus. They're there because it's Erickson Lubin. So, how much, you know, how much are you spending on this camp in terms of? Keeping you know the outside distractions, you know, not getting boggled down by the after parties, and making sure people aren't blowing up your phone, going, "Erickson, we love you. Can you get front row tickets. Can I walk out with you?" <laughs> nah, you know, I, I don't pay too much attention to that. I, you know, I advertise it on my um, social media a couple couple times, and then after that, that's it. You know, it's fight time. I, I've been in camp for you know a couple months now. Since my last fight, you know, I took about a couple of days off and I, I was back in the gym, um, you know, getting stronger with my strength and conditioning, not really, you know, not really worrying about the fight too much and, like, who wants to get tickets and, like, the social media after, you know, I posted a couple of times and, you know, I'm not really worried about any of that. I'm just ready, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to, you know, keep going up and, you know, get ready for a world title soon. Last two questions I'll let you go. Once again, we got Erickson Lubin on the show. We're talking all things, of course, PBC on Bounce TV at the uh, Seminole Casino in Mocale, Florida, January 31st against Jose de Jesus Macias. Uh, when do you want to face the next step up? When do you want to take on that guy, whether it's a Joseph Alegale, you know, a Aaron Martinez, maybe a Sammy Vasquez Jr., somebody who, and I don't mean to be sound cruel, but... They're going to look at you and go, screw you, you're not the big bad bully. Screw you, you're not taking my lunch money. And screw you, this is my ring. You get the hell out of my goddamn ring. Right. Um, I'm ready for that step. Never, man. That's, that's what I've been asking my managers and stuff. You know, they're the ones that have to slow me down because I'll take any fight. I'm not really, you know, I've been in the sports for about 15 years, you know, since I was five years old. I'm not too old, you know, I'm 20 years old. been in the sports since I was five years old, you know, fighting grown men since I was young. And, um... I'm just ready to fight whenever, whoever, and however. I don't care. You know? I'm, I'm, I'm here to get a world title and make a name for myself. You know, go down in the history books. This is going to be the year of the Olympics. It's going to be Rio de Janeiro. Uh, you were an odds-on favorite. A lot of people I talked to in the amateur world, they said you were a surefire thing for the gold medal. Any regrets? I mean, sure. is there a part of you that wishes you went to the Olympics? You know, get the gold medal, you know, stars, and you know, the national. Anthem playing, and then you can turn that into bigger money. Or are you happy where your life is at right now? Yeah, I'm very happy where I'm at right now. You know, I'm with the best in the business, Al Heyman. I got the best managers with um, Gary Jonas and Henry Revolta, best trainers, you know, um, Jason Galarza. Um, I'm fine, you know, because by the time the Olympics come by in August, you know, I'll be a contender or I'll be at a world championship. There you have yeah, it. That was, my, that was my biggest goal, you know? Well, we're looking forward to it. Once again, it's going to be PBC on Bounce TV. It's uh, January 31st, the Sem Seminole Casino in Mokale, Florida. So, er this man here against Jose de Jesus Macias is going to do Erickson the Hammer Lubin with his buddies Jack and Sledge. And Erickson, look, always an honor and a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you. It's always a pleasure being here. Uh, pleasure's ours. When we come back, we got a whole lot more here only on. The Squared Circle with the Sports Swami, only on TheBoxingVoice.com.